Okay folks, here is our teenager program. So what we've tried to do is use something similar to what we'd use here in the edge, but use as little equipment as possible so that you can do it at home. So we're gonna start off with a squat to start with. So as I spoke about with Neil, full range squat, we're gonna elevate our heels three to four inches up on a block of wood, hands across the shoulders, elbows up tall, and just gonna breathe into his nose, into his tummy. He's gonna slowly bend both knees, sit down and come straight back up. So what we're looking here is we're looking to keep this back as flat as possible, his chest is up tall, nice and controlled, way through the middle of his feet. Not losing that curvature in his back, that's the most important thing. So that's option, that starts at level one. Level two, we're gonna to look to bring our uh, overhead squat in. This is quite more advanced, brings in the upper body, but this is something that we should all be working towards. Hands over the head, chest up tall, slowly down, straight back up. Nothing should change from here to here. We want it to keep the upper body the exact same. All this is is a broomstick, so no, no excuses. So three to four seconds down, one second up, breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth, watch that back. Perfect, we're gonna move from that into our TRX row. So I'm just gonna grab the cables here, he's gonna walk his feet in. The closer his feet come to the anchor here, the harder it is. He's gonna pop his toes up so his weight is on his heels ankle, knee, hips, shoulders, dead straight line. He's gonna squeeze his shoulder blades together as he lifts up, breathes in through his nose on the way up, breathes out as he lowers down. One thing to watch out, which is quite common, is his hips stay up at the top, at the bottom. He's not letting his hips sink down here. We're keeping our abs, our core nice and tight through the full range of motion. So it's fast up, three to four seconds down, nice and controlled down, perfect. So there are first two exercises, our, our squat and its variations. Moving on to our TRX row. We repeat each thing three times. We're looking to do 15 reps each, and then we take with around a 75 to 90 second rest in between. We're gonna go from there into our step lunges. We've done this before, so feet hip distance apart, chest up tall, chin up. He's gonna take a big step out with his left leg. He's gonna bend his back knee, come back up, push back in. He steps out, controls the back knee towards the ground, pushing back up. We're paying attention to our hips, making sure they're going straight ahead. We're watching our front knee, making sure it's not going miles past our toe, that's just hovering over our toes, absolutely fine, as we push through the middle of the foot. Back knee should just be above the ground. We're trying not to bang the back knee, back knee off the ground. We're controlling the eccentric again, so we're controlling the lower, and we're working on the speed on the pushback. Perfect. We're gonna drop from there into our press up. We're gonna start the beginner press up with his knees on the floor, his hands outside his shoulders. He's gonna lower his chest towards the floor and push straight back here. Breathing in through the nose, slowly lower down, breathe out through the mouth. Again, you'll notice Andrew's keeping his hips up, lowering his chest towards the floor, his elbows track out to the side. He's in control on the way down, slow down, fast straight back up. When this becomes too easy, he's gonna pop up onto his toes, breathe in, slowly lower down, push straight back up. Same rules apply, nothing else changes. His entire back, his shoulders, his hips, his knees, and his ankles, we're all keeping as straight a line as possible. As he starts to fail, he's gonna drop onto his elbows and we're gonna come into a plank. So here we're looking again, everything's flat. We're nice and strong. We're squeezing our glutes. As we squeeze our glutes, we're looking to pull the belly button in towards its spine. Keep it, we're, made, we're staying as active as we can in this position. We're gonna hold for 30 seconds here. So we start off with our step lunges. You can relax there, Andy. We start off with our step lunges. They're gonna be 10 each side. Then we're gonna go into 15 press ups and then we're gonna go into a 30 second plank. We're looking to build the plank each time. We're looking to walk up towards a minimum of 60 seconds. So to recap the whole program, overhead squats or its variation for 15 reps, TRX rows for 15 reps, rest 60 to 90 seconds, repeat three times, step lunges, 10 each leg, then straight down into 15 press ups, straight into a plank for 30 to 60 seconds. Rest 75 to 90, repeat three times. Over the course of a couple of weeks, look to build up each to four, four sets each. A lot of information there, but if you have any problems, any questions, anything you'd like to ask about the workout, just email us info at theedgecontart.com or check out our website, theedgecontart.com. Thanks very much.